Perhaps one of the biggest questions within the Hogs of War community at the moment is how exactly do you play online multiplayer? You've seen that I've uploaded a few videos where we've been playing online stuff and I figured it's time to actually make a tutorial because no one makes tutorials in this community, let's be honest. They do things and then just don't tell you how to do it, so it's time to tell you how to do it. How do you play online multiplayer? Because let's be honest, the PC version and its networking completely sucks. It just doesn't work, it's broken, so we must rely on the PlayStation version on an emulator. So what you're going to need is obviously an emulator. I would recommend uh, EPSXE, uh, a copy of the game that is obviously PlayStation that you can play on the emulator. And you're going to need Parsec, which is a very cool piece of software that we're going to be discussing in detail. Long story short, Parsec is a tool that allows you to play any game that is not supported online and play it online with your friends. So Hogs of War, the PlayStation version, obviously doesn't have any network settings um, and it's nothing complicated. There's no fiddling with VPNs or fiddling with your firewalls, nothing too crazy or complex. You literally just create a party and you go ahead and play. Uh, now the main drawback of Parsec is that the person that is hosting must be on Windows 8 or Windows 10, which in many ways is a plus for people that are on Windows 10 already that are having issues with running the PC version of Hogs of War, because uh, by God, how many times has that question been asked? How do you run it on Windows 10? It's not supported on Windows 10. How do I do it? Yeah, so you're able to, <laughs> hosts are able to run it as long as you are on Windows 8 or Windows 10. I am on Windows 7 because I am a poor peasant. But I, I like Windows 7. I haven't actually upgraded yet. I'm, I'm, I may do in future, eventually, uh, but I'm happy with 7 right now. That, that's where I'm at. So because I don't have the ability to see the additional options in regards to hosting, I'm going to hand it over to uh, Caster, who's going to show us uh, how things look, how to create a party with Parsec, and, uh, and see where that goes. So trust the Parsec. Then go to create a party. Name your game. Yeah, it will find it then. Um, yeah, you can activate private or not if you want to play with your friends without them. Then this is important: which app, uh, which app um, they can they can use or they have access to. So I would recommend just use it, click EPSXE here. So if you use Firefox, for example, um, I click on it, they can access Firefox and you just want them to play on your emulator. Then you can create a party. And add the players. I'm to then you can like send pinstripe and invite and you can also give them permissions like um, give pinstripe the permission to connect without your in my approval so if it's connecting I don't have to um, approve that so I don't have to click on the um, yeah, okay button so you just can connect and you can control to these things they could they if somebody's connected they will show up here you can um, here you can accept the, that they can connect and select what they can um, use or what the, the mouse keyboard the uh, controller there yeah, you can change pilot you can change your um, a way located and let's add it here. You can edit the party again, and yeah, that's a pretty small. You can here be some client settings, we think, Windows mode, full screen or not. Yeah. After we exit it, I always have to create a new party so the old party won't work, won't work again. 
Awesome, thank you Caster. So once the party is created, you hit the big play button and it automatically connects you to the host's computer. Then you can view their screen and you can have access to whatever they are giving to you. In this case, we only have access to the application of the emulator, so EPSXE, and that will then allow us to input our controls. And that is again up to the host. As you can see, he's adding in the game pads and you add in the individual game pads for each individual player. Input your controls, whether you be using a USB controller or a keyboard, because there are some players that use a keyboard. Bit weird. I mean, I did start off using a keyboard, so I can't really say much, but either way, that is essentially it. After you've done all of that, you just launch up the game or the host will launch the game and, and you can play. Uh, just remember what order you are in terms of gamepath, because then that will determine the order of your teams so you know gamepad one will be player one gamepad two will be player two gamepad three will be player three etc etc and you know you're able to then input your uh team roster and, and what players you want and all that sort of stuff so if anyone has any questions then do let me know like i said uh you can only be on windows 8 or windows 10 to host anyone on windows 7 will need friends to uh host the game or need friends that are on windows 10 or Windows 8 to host. Uh, Parsec is free. The links to everything will be in the description. Thank you to uh, Impastus for assisting me with this tutorial and showing me, or uh, showing us, I guess, what things look like from the standpoint of the host. Uh, but like I said, any questions, let us know. Come ahead and join the Discord because we are going to be playing more and more uh, Hogs of War in terms of multiplayer and indeed doing more competitive Hogs of War as well. So if you're interested, come ahead and join. And in the meantime, I'll catch you guys later for the next one.